Today we are going to start the new topic profit and loss. Before starting profit and loss, we should understand some terminologies which are used in profit and loss chapter. First one is cost price. Which is in short written as CP. What is cost price? It is the amount, it is the amount for which an article is brought. That is the price at which we bring an article from the market is the cross price for us. For example, if I bring a packet of surf at rupees 20, then rupees 20 is the cost price for me. As I have brought the article that is the packet of surf at rupees 20. Second one is selling price. which is written and short as SP. Now what is selling price? The amount for which an article is sold is called the selling price. For example, if I brought an article at rupees 20 then cost price is rupees 20 and if I sell that article at rupees 50 to my friend then the selling price of that article will become 50. Now we come to the main topic that is profit or we can say gain. When will we have the gain or profit? Whenever we will have more money that is jo money hum pay karenge Usse zyada, usko sell karne par, jab hume profit milega, that means zyada money milega, to hum kahenge ki hume profit hua hai. That means, if the selling price is greater than the cost price, that is, the price at which we have brought the article is less than the price at which we have sold the article, then there is a gain. Or we can say, profit to find the gain to find the gain to find the gain we have to just subtract the cost price from the selling price since selling price is greater so we will subtract the cost price from the selling price and we will obtain the gain next is loss whenever the selling price is greater whenever the cost price is greater than the selling price then there will be loss and we can calculate loss by subtracting selling price from the cost price that is cost price minus selling price now let us understand these two with the help of example if I brought an article at rupees 50, that means the cost price will be rupees 50, and I sell it at rupees 70, then you can see that the cost price is less than the selling price, therefore, there will be gain. And to find the gain, I will simply subtract the cost price from the selling price that is selling price minus cost price that will be equals to rupees 70 minus rupees 50 which will be equals to rupees 20. Next if I have brought an article that is cost price of the article would be rupees 100 and if I sell it at rupees 50 then you can see that the selling price is less than cost price. So there is a loss 
and it can be cal calculated by subtracting the selling price from the cost price that is cost price minus selling price which will be equals to rupees 100 minus rupees 50 that will be equals to rupees 50 so we have a loss of rupees 50 in this case next is loss percent or gain percent first we will understand to calculate gain percent gain percent is equals to gain upon cost price into 100 this will give us the gain percent now here the important thing which is to be remember is that the gain and the loss is always calculated on the cost price so we will always write cost price in the denominator second is loss percent the difference in this is this we have to write loss upon cost price since we always calculate gain and loss on cost price into 100 so that it get converted into percent so we will multiply it by 100 these are the two important formulas to calculate gain percent and loss percent now we will see some examples based on based on these two formulas first example mohit brought a cd for rupees 750 and sold it for rupees 875 we have to find his gain percent here simply you can see that the selling price which is 875 is greater than the cost price that is rupees 750 so simply you can see that there is a gain so we will write the cost price is rupees rupees 750 and the selling price is rupees 875 is rupees 875 so to calculate the gain person first we have to calculate the gain and the gain is equals to selling price minus cost price which is equals to rupees 875 minus rupees 750 so the gain will be equals to rupees 125 just now we have calculated only the gain but we have to calculate the gain percent so gain percent is equals to cost price gain upon gain percent upon cost price into 100 so it will be equals to 125 upon cost price that is equals to rupees 750 into 100 on calculation it will comes out to be 16 2 by 3 percent so the gain percent is rupees 16 2 by 3 percent let us see one more example Rahul purchased a table for rupees 1260 and due to some scratches on it on its top he had to sell it for rupees 1197 we have to find the loss percent here you can see that Rahul has purchased the table at rupees 1260 that means it is the cost price now he has sold the table at rupees 1197 that means it is the selling price and you can see that the selling price is less than the cost price so simply there is a loss Rahul is having a loss in this transition here cost price is rupees 1260 and selling price is rupees 1197 so loss will be selling loss will be cost price minus selling price which will be equals to rupees 
वन टू सिक्स जीरो माइनस रुपीज वन वन नाइन सेवन विच ऑन कैलकुलेशन कम्स आउट टू बी रुपीज सिक्सटी थ्री नाउ वी डोंट हैव टू कैलकुलेट लॉस वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द लॉस पर्सन सो लॉस पर्सन विल बी इक्वल्स टू लॉस अपॉन कॉस्ट प्राइस इन टू हंड्रेड ऑन पुटिंग द वैल्यूज लॉस विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड वॉज रुपीज सिक्सटी थ्री कॉस्ट प्राइस वॉज रुपीज वन टू सिक्स जीरो एंड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई हंड्रेड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू परसेंटेज नाउ ऑन कैलकुलेशन इट कम्स आउट टू बी रुपी इट कम आउट कम्स आउट टू बी फाइव परसेंट सो देर इज अ लॉस ऑफ फाइव परसेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ ग्रॉसर बाइज ट्वेंटी के जी ऑफ शुगर एट अ कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ रुपीज एटीन पर के जी देन एंड थर्टी के जी ऑफ एन इन्फीरियर दैट इज सस्ती शुगर at the cost price of rupees 15 per kg so he has buy two types of sugar one was of good quality and one another one of a inferior quality the good quality sugar which he has purchased 20 kg was cost uh, with uh, cost him rupees 18 per kg and the inferior which he has purchased 30 kg cost him rupees 15 per kg now he mixed the two kind he mixes the two kind of sugar and sell the mixture at a cost price of rupees 16.50 per kg we have to find was he was having a profit or a loss and we have to also find its profit and loss percent now see first he has buyed sugar 20 kg at the cost of 18 per kg 20 kg at cost of 18 per kg that means total amount which he has to pay for the 20 kg of sugar will be cost price of 20 kg of sugar will be equals to 20 into rupees 18 this comes out to be rupees 360 next he has buy a sugar 30 kg which cost him rupees 15 per kg so the cost price of 30 kg of sugar will be 30 into rupees 15 this comes out to be rupees 450 so the total cost price of 20 plus 30 kg of sugar that is 50 kg of sugar will be rupees 360 plus rupees 450 which will be equals to rupees 810 now he has sold the sugar at 16.50 per kg and the total sugar the total weight of the sugar which he was having was 50 so we can say that the selling price of 50 kg of sugar will be 50 into 16.50 which is calculation comes out to be which comes out to be rupees 825 that means 800 rupees 25 now you can see that the cost price is rupees 810 and the selling price is rupees 825 so selling price is greater than the cost price so this will implies that there is a profit now to calculate profit 
we will subtract cost price from the selling price that is selling price minus cost price which will be equals to rupees 825 minus rupees 810 now this will comes out to be rupees 15 now we have to calculate the profit percent so profit percent will be equals to profit upon cost price in 200 which will be equals to rupees 15 upon cost price which was rupees 810 here you can see that we have calculated every price on 50 kg this was the profit on 50 kgs so we will write the cost price of 50 kgs only not the cost price of 1 kg multiplied by 100 so it will be equals to 50 upon 27 and if we convert it into mixed fraction it will be 123 upon 27 percent so this was his profit percent on next turn we will see some more examples based on profit and loss percent